everyone. It's my pleasure and privilege to be your General Secretary, Ruth Spellman, WEA. I'm proud to be so. And I'm here in the Eastern Region to celebrate your achievements, which have been many during the last year and over the many years of your existence. I've been suffering from depression for about 25 years and was becoming very reclusive. I was sitting in a dark room and then it was just time I decided I needed help. I went to see my GP, who then recommended me to MIND and a WA group for arts. I'm now on a volunteer um, course. I'm teach, uh, taking a class myself, which is teaching other people uh, about the arts, different techniques and things like that. It's coming quite away. I'm Ron Marks, I'm Chairman of the Essex Federation. Um, uh, we, as well as running helping branches and running day schools and summer schools, we also have our own website. We try to keep branches informed as much as possible and we try to help them out financially and in other ways as much as we possibly can. So I suppose that's why we have kindly been nominated for this award. I think we've won uh, because we were so active, um, inspired by Ron and Joan who were on regional, regional yeah. committees and keep our sort of profile high and uh, push for um, our area. Every member of this committee, and there are some missing who are through ill health can't be here today, but every member of this committee has another voluntary role in the organisation. Um, well, it started in the beginning where I did a course with the WEA uh, with a lady named Jackie. It was called um, Time time for you and um, she actually asked me what we wanted to do with our futures and stuff like that and I said that I really needed to do my maths and my English but I said that I wasn't confident with my maths and uh, a lady called Debbie came in and Jackie sort of pushed me in that direction saying that I wanted to do maths but I wasn't confident and that's where it was she offered me these courses told me where and when they are and I joined on to the maths course and the English course. Yeah, and I didn't look back. I actually enjoyed doing maths, and I never thought that I would, especially from being so rubbish at school. But yeah, no, so it was from that moment, that person, Jackie, put me in the right direction and sent me on my way to <laughs> my career. Um, I just want to say that thank you to the these courses from the WEA, that if it wasn't for them in the beginning, Maths, English and the confidence building courses, that I probably wouldn't be standing here today. So I just wanted to say thank you to all of you and all your help and support from your tutors and everybody. So, yeah, thank you. The reason why I think uh, I have won uh, this award um, is because I was part of the team who developed the online ESOL course, uh, which uh, allows uh, students to uh, study uh, English in a very flexible way, uh, allows them to use the computer but also uh, there is no need uh, for um, internet. Uh, the, the course can be run out of a, a, a USB uh, memory stick. The course um, has been developed last year. Uh, since then, uh, I've run, uh, I tutor uh, eight uh, different groups, so eight courses. Um, in, especially in Norfolk um, and the reason why in the first instance that we uh, uh, we set ourselves to develop this course was because especially in this region uh, 
there are uh, uh, a lot of migrant workers. I decided to, I wanted to get our learners even more involved by actually performing at a festival as well because we have so much talent under one roof. And this time around what we wanted to do was to provide an opportunity not just for those people who wanted to be in the limelight but also for those people who want to be involved behind the scenes. So we teamed up with WEA and put on some courses starting in January. So this has been, what, 10 months in the making. And we started with a photography course, went on to a social media course, a website creation course, and finally an event planning course to get as many people as possible involved behind the scenes, as well as actually on stage performing and exhibiting their art. I've been very fortunate to win the uh, WA Staff Member Innovation Award for 2014. I feel very proud of um, being given this because it reflects um, the work that I've been doing over the kind of past year or so and it's work that I found incredibly enjoyable which has covered one of my kind of passions which is technology development but also um, my role within the Eastern WA allows me to work within the community in Norfolk so I get to work with fantastic partners fantastic tutors and students that we can use the technology to help blend the approach to how we deliver the, the kind of provision um, to our students. The technology side of things has kind of ranged from developing an online VLE, virtual learning environment, where we can host online courses. And currently we've been doing some tester courses on there, uh, Medieval Medicine, which incredibly has, has achieved over 4,000 views in, in about 18 months, which we've used as a pilot to, to show if there was the need and the want for online learning, and it's kind of proved quite categorically that, that there is. In addition to that, within the WA Learn Online, we've got the uh, online forum where staff, students, tutors, members, volunteers, the general public can all go on and communicate with one another. We've also developed a, a program called the Digital Surgeries, which is an online webinar which students and tutors can log on, and staff members can log on from their office, from home, wherever, and receive a, an hours long kind of tuition course on a whole range of subjects that, that we can ask them to tell us what they want to learn from. I think all of you are winners. All of you are stars of the WBA and I congratulate you all.